Hello and welcome back everybody to episode 18 of Raft. My name is Lainey from Early Gaming. You will notice we are at a biggish island, a random island, because I need some resources. I need some resources for this boat. Uh, I am actually doing it. We are updating, remodeling, turning this raft into a beautiful swan. I mean, I don't know if it's possible, but I've already started, as you can tell. Now, these engines out here, I do like the look of them, but the problem with them is that it's really annoying. I have to come from here, run all the way around, turn these on, and then run to the other side and turn those on. It's a nightmare. So I've decided I'm going to move them inside. You will notice that a lot of things are missing. Our forges are gone. They're sitting in boxes back there. It's basically moving day right now. And I've got these engines here that I'm trying to connect with some of the pipes here. I've made some fuel pipes and the biofuel refiner and the fuel tank. I want to make all of this to connect these together. So that's the goal for today. The goal for today is to get our engines to work in this area with all the new resources that we got from the last two islands that we were able to visit, like all the new blueprints that we learned. So I'm trying to get this not to run on wood because that would be much more efficient. So I'll connect the pipes there. It should be okay, I hope. We should have enough room. I mean, I hope. Right. That's the that's the dream. We might have to move this out one, but I think I'm okay with that. So we can put like fuel tanks or something here. I haven't decided yet. I don't even know how big they are, so that might also be kind of a, an issue. But not to worry. Not to worry. We'll figure it all out. I've also started doing something here on the sides. Uh, you will notice that there is now a platform above this and a little bit of a staircase because I wanted to do something like this, or at least temporarily something like this. Uh, it's just kind of a little landing strip, a little top area. I like these because they allow you to see the ocean a lot more. It's just, it just looks really beautiful. Whereas these, these are fine, but you can see it does block the view a bit. So that's why I'm going with those. This thing here is going to move to even a third floor. And um, that's going to be like my room, I guess. It's going to be like a little hammock and whatever. And then there's going to be this year with the antennas up there. And down here, this whole area, I think I'm going to turn into just storage. It's going to be a little bit crazy, mind you, but I think we can make it work. Uh, I temporarily put the trees up here, but they're not going to go there. I'm almost like 100% sure they're not going to go there. I don't know where the kitchen's going to go. I don't know where the animals are going to go. Clearly, there's room down there for something, maybe both. But for now, I think it's good to say we are going to explore this island. We will deal with whatever is happening here later. But before we spend all my time just trying to figure out exactly what to do with that monstrous raft, I'm going to come over here. And we're going to kill this bird. <laughs> I can already see it. I can see it flying around. It's calling my name. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's two of them? Oh, no. Okay. Well, this is, uh... This is more that I certainly bargain for two and the bird yep I knew I knew I knew I was gonna get rammed maybe I should try to focus one but honestly I keep losing them are these made out of steel what is going on there's one there's one okay okay we got <laughs> we got the boars oh man no, that didn't even hit him. Not even close, man. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm low. Okay, it's time to pick these up before the bird comes back. All right. <laughs> we got him. Oh, these guys are a nightmare. I had to go back to the base. I had to get a new bow. We kill the, we kill the boars. We kill the bird. I feel pretty safe now. And now it's just about collecting the rest of this. Now, I do remember that there's not a whole lot in the water. Like, there's not on that side. Maybe there's a little bit here, so I'll take a look. But if I remember correctly, this island would, was mostly, like, inland stuff. Okay. Good day. Good day. And we are back. I guess I will start out by trying to figure out exactly how I want this room to look. I think the entrance being somewhere right here would be kind of cool. Maybe like right there. 
I did want to leave two spaces on the outside. It's just going to look a lot more roomy. Even though I, I don't know if it's exactly like a smart thing to do, but I don't care. I'm doing it anyway. Uh, we're doing a door. And I guess we could use that one. That's pretty cute. And we'll use the same over here as well, leaving two spaces there. It's going to make the outside quite spacious, as well as make the inside very long. But I think it's still going to be pretty cool looking. I hope. And then for the rest, I'm going to do a lot of windows. Uh, let's just make sure that the right side is facing there. So we'll do a couple of windows there. I think that would look kind of cool. And I wonder if I want to make any walls or if I just want to make it all windows. Realistically, making it walls would make the storage a lot easier. So I guess I'll try to make as many walls as I can while leaving some of the window airiness in, so to speak. So let's make a wall right there. Uh, if I have to make a roof, all right, then I, I'm going to have to make this like a middle centerpiece. So I'll probably do that. I'll probably add a wall here. If I want to do this, then I have to make the storage like this. And I'll probably hang it so it looks a little bit prettier. And we'll do several of them. And that would still leave me one block to walk, which I think is going to be pretty, pretty acceptable. Uh, let's go ahead and make more walls here. I wonder how long the stretches I want them to be. I guess three. Seems like a good, a good amount. Yeah, I can't do that one, but it's okay. It's just what it is. And then I will try to do one, two, three here. See if that works. Good. Uh, then I probably want to do a window. We'll flip it that way. Flip it that way. It is weird how they don't line up perfectly. <laughs> it bothers me, but, you know, let's just not look at it. If we don't look at it, it didn't happen. And then we'll probably add more walls here. Right there. We'll flip that one. Flip that one. And then we have a two wide entrance here. Which I suppose it's fine because I will end up doing this over here. Which is going to be where those are going to go. That one's going to go there. And we're going to make a window right here. I just like the idea of, of there being some windows on the second floor. In fact, I wanted to be full windows, but then I decided that... It's going to be quite complicated to get uh, to get the the storage to work with that many windows. So that's the reason why it didn't become super windowed. But it, it would be cool if it was as many windows as you can possibly afford. I'm going to pick these up since I have almost 100% decided that these are not going to go here. And if we do want to make an area to hang out, it's going to be on the third floor. Which I do have to design somehow at some point. Alright, but let's continue with this because we do have enough wood. So there's that. Okay, so we do this and it will give it like extra airiness here, if that makes sense. Right, so... Oh, yeah, I wonder if I should do these out of the leaf. Yeah, I think that might look better. Goodbye. Uh, let's do it out of the leafy one. I like the leaves. I don't know what it is. I know they're supposed to be like the cheaper, worst... Uh, look, but I like how it looks over there. So I can't imagine this will look bad here. I don't know. We'll see if this works out. Hang on, hang on. I got this, I got this. Got it. Okay, perfect. And we'll get it on this side as well. Just kind of... Bloop. Oh my... Imagine if this works out. That will make it a little bit taller. Which I think will look cool. Uh, it's hard to say. But I've also noticed that I do need to put doors here if I want to get them to work. Because for some reason, the roof doesn't connect here unless you put a door. It is what it is, you know. These little things. I don't mind it too much, though. It's fine. And this will increase the area by quite a bit. I don't think I want to do it on the whole place. Because I do want some sort of staircase to go to, like, a third floor. And I think a third floor that is too wide might be too small. Okay, so now that that tilty thing is done, I have to plan out the third floor. 
And this is going to be, I think, the most difficult thing. I need to get a staircase up there somehow. And I thought about adding this here. But now I'm thinking it might be a better idea to move the staircase to the outside. Because not only will it look a little bit better, I think, and more symmetrical. Because symmetry matters, of course. Um, it's going to be, I think, better overall. And so we can leave it there. And we'll, we'll be able to make one on the other side. Don't judge me. Okay, I can't. I can't deal with it not being symmetrical. It was bothering me. And then we can decide here how we get it to a third floor. Or if we just want to leave it here, right? So if we want to just leave it like this and make this the third floor. And have it be a, a little bit odd, <laughs> I suppose. But it will be good. It will be good, I think. You just have to believe. Oh, look, an island I'm passing by. All that sweet, sweet loot. I can do this here because I don't need it, and I will do it on the other side as well. Now, this brings up a really interesting point, which is you are able to hold up roofs with these without support, which is incredible. Absolutely glorious. Okay. Very cool. <gasps> I think this is going to work. And we'll make a tiny staircase. Oh, we need to make a roof, of course. And then a tiny staircase going the other way. Cool. <laughs> it worked. Somehow it worked. All right, now I need to connect this here uh, so I can actually put some support. What I was thinking of doing is I will do a half wall, right? So I think maybe we do this and then we'll add a ceiling right there. Perfect. Oh, yay. That's exactly what I needed. Good, 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 good. Uh, I removed this. This was a mistake. Oh, no. Okay, well, I'll get another axe and I'll remove this. But this is kind of the look, I guess. And there's going to be doors here, doors here. I don't know, some sort of balcony area here. I, I haven't decided yet. You know, these are the things that you think you want and then you don't realize if you do or not. But for now, I will put this here just for the looks. Uh, I want a zip line, I think, down to the bottom, which would be really fun. But I basically want this to be like a like a little captain's area here where I can put my hammock, maybe. I'll put a little chair here, whatever. Uh, maybe something that can see out into the ocean. You know, a little bench, a little rug. Who knows? And up here, we're going to have... Um, basically, our antenna situation is going to be reworked to be somewhere up here, maybe in the back. But it's not going to go all the way to the back. It's only going to cover about half of this. Yeah, we're going to add triangle sides to these to kind of make it look a little bit more consistent, as well as a half wall here. Unless I want to do something. No, we're going to do a half wall. Because I think what this is going to do... Uh, yeah, we'll do, we'll do it that way. What this is going to do is it's going to allow us to hang something there, perhaps. Something like that. I, I don't know if I love the gap here, but this is the only way to get it to hold up. So we're going to do it. And over here, we'll do the triangle sides as well. We'll do one there and one there. I don't know if that's going to make it much better looking on this side, but it's certainly going to make it better looking here on the outside. It's going to look more complete. Before, there was a little bit of a gap. Now there's no gap. I feel good about it. And now I can paint it with whatever color I want. All right, I had to come up with some roof solutions to make this work here. I went ahead and added one more roof to this so it wouldn't look like a weird hanging box there. I thought about maybe adding a pole here, but then it would constrict the, the path. And it's already going to be pretty tight in here. So I figured maybe up there we can do some sort of storage. But we have little cracks here that let some light in. I really like the second floor. It's looking really airy, really nice. And up here, I'm going to try to finish this off. This is the only piece that I can't quite get there. I'm thinking, though, since I don't want to add more walls here so it doesn't become like, too, too bad, I could add some of these walls here so it looks symmetrical on both sides. Kind of like these half-wall contraptions that I've designed over here for some reason. Uh, we'll go ahead and add them on that side as well, just making sure they're facing the right way. And now we'll kind of keep it just consistent looking, right? Really unnecessary, but <laughs> it's fine. Uh, we do what we must. 
right? And that's going to look like there's a compartment there and there's going to be another compartment back here. So I'm pleased with that. So we only need to put one pole here. But as, as it's my curse, if we've only put one, it's going to be really uneven. So putting two would be, I think, what would keep things just a bit, a bit better. I could also just add them to the corners here, which would be less disturbing. But now, realistically, I only need one pole there, and I should hold that up. I'm not even going to look. It's not, it's going to be uneven. I know it's going to be uneven, but it's going to have to happen. Oh, and I forgot. We have to add a half a pole there. So this is how we hold this roof up here. Got him. Just don't look. Don't look at that one pole. Boy, that's going to... That's going to tear at my soul right here. <laughs> I don't know what it is with me. Why am I so weird about uh, things not being fully symmetrical? I don't know. But I think if I wanted to kind of uh, appease my OCD, I would do one pole here, one pole here, and one pole there, one pole there. It would be a lot. Well, you know what? Let's take a look. You know I'm doing it. Oh, that is... I'm, I'm so messed up. Like, there's something wrong with my head. But, hey, look, look, look. How we see it is this way, all right? If I happen to destroy one of them by mistake, there's plenty of backup, right? So it's fine. And for my little captain quarters, the toppity top over here, I'm thinking I'm going to add a double high roof. You, you seem to be able to go as high as possible, so... Oh, I need some more leaf. Not to worry, we only have like a million... It's going to be so hard for me to get used to walking around this place. It's so much bigger than it used to be. Just in terms of how many blocks I've added to the top, this is insane. But this top area is going to be double grand. And that's just to see if the if the top of the, of the raft looks really cool. Okay, so I'm going to add these here. Oh, and I will add a corner right there. Here we go. Oh, I love it. I love it. This is like my little cabin where I will hang. It's so much taller than the other ones as well. This one's only one high. This one is too high. Oh, I love how this turned out. This turned out better than I could have imagined. Eventually, we'll paint it as well. So it's going to look much, much nicer. But I think design-wise, this is turning out quite, quite well, quite nicely. I appreciate all the different types of textures here. And I like that the top is so much taller than the other layers. Even this one would have been nice if it was a little bit taller. But um, I can't make it work because it's only a 2x2. Two two. It's very short, so you can see you can only do corner pieces. Whereas that is large enough that we can actually expand on the roof and make it a little bit tall, a little bit more majestic. This one here was just to give it a little bit more elevation. So it wasn't so cramped and it didn't feel so claustrophobic. I really like the look of that. <laughs> I am pleased. I am pleased. All right. It is time for the move. And so we can actually get this engine room done. I, I do have to remove all these boxes. And I think that's it. That's the end of it. I can move the engines in here and we can figure out the pipe system. Uh, a lot of things didn't work out. The zip line didn't work out quite yet. But the pipes hopefully will. And that's my dream. I've started to place these here just to kind of, you know, kind of start the move, so to speak. And I think I will add like a little, little tag here to the top. Uh, if I place more than one thing in there, then I'll just place... Maybe I could place two tags here. Yeah, I could do like one right there and one right here if we need to. But for now, it looks like it's going to be one per row. It's going to be pretty easy. It's fine. If it's like sand and... You know, clay, I can just add sand clay and do them like that. I just have to make sure that these are as straight as possible so they don't they don't bother me later. Very good. And we'll do the same on this side. This one won't have a tag at the top because there's extra storage. But I'll figure out a way to add some sort of signage. Okay, so this storage area is coming along. Guys, we need to make so many more boxes. I don't know if I like this, and I can't remember if I needed it. I, I don't... I don't remember at all. I mean, this will hold up this one here, and it will hold up this one. 
that should hold up that, that should hold up that. So the reality is I don't think I need that half wall in there at all. Was the reason I added, yeah, the reason I added is because I added it this one, right? But that makes it a little bit harder to walk in here. And it's going to make it a little bit more complicated. So I think maybe this thing has to go. <gasps> I should have probably removed the top one first. It's going to make it much easier to walk in here. Uh, less defined, but I think that's going to be fine. Once there's a bunch of boxes there too, it's going to be just a little bit more airy. <laughs> it's, good. it's just basically a warehouse, so it's got to look as good as it can look. So I've cleared everything down here. Finally. It is really dark in there, but I think it's fine, guys. The reason why it th doesn't matter too much now is because I will be adding a ton of lighting. But uh, yeah, the engine room is super, super dark. And I think even the second room, the storage room, is fairly dark. Maybe I want to add a little bit more open areas there. That would be kind of nice, I think. But for now, I'm pleased with this. Let's just pick up all the engines and see if we can get the pipes to work. We gotta remove all of these, hopefully. <laughs> oh, it's it's making me so worried that any support for upstairs is dying slowly. We'll add that there. We'll see if Brucey starts attacking our base now. Fortify, 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 fortify. I'm out of nails, but it's not a big deal. I can make some more. I don't have a lot of this, so I don't want to go too crazy. Hopefully I'll be able to get what I need to get done quickly. Okay, I need a little bit more nails. All right. There we go. All right, so all of that has been fortified just in case. And I'm thinking I probably want to fortify this as well, but I don't know if it counts as an outside area, you know, because technically there are holes inside of the raft and these have never been eaten. So I might have done a little bit of an overkill here, but I don't want this to fall. Basically, I don't want the shark to eat these because I don't want the engines to, to completely die. Look at them. It does look pretty cool, though. It looks really nice, like a nice engine room. Now to ruin it. All right, let's get this going. I need to add some pipes. I have made some. I don't know how to use them, however. I should probably also make a biofuel refiner. I might need more than one. It mixes raw food and honey to create biofuel. Okay, let's make some bolts. I'm gonna make... Oh, I'm out of... I'm out. I'm out of scrap. Oh no, okay. Well, we'll make a biofuel refiner. Maybe two? I don't know, I'm just making stuff at this point. And two tanks. All right, look. We're doing what we must. All right, so it looks like you refine this here. Does it connect to a pipe or do I just grab this? This looks like it's freestanding. Let's place it down just to see. But if not, we'll deal with that as it comes. Okay, requires raw food. Very nice. Requires honey. And then it, it shoots into something else, all right? So that's the plan for these. Let me place them down just so I can see them. Maybe I'll add another one there. It's hard, hard to tell at the moment. Next, I'm going to be adding probably the fuel tanks. These, oh, they're massive. Okay, well, these do need to be connected. However, as you can see, by a pipe. I don't know if they automatically connect if we attach it to these. So that would be something to consider. Uh, if I place this here, it does connect. Okay, so that's that's definitely something to note right there. Um, eh, it, it looks a little ugly, but at the very least it connects that engine to that. And I wonder if I add a pipe here. Yeah, like add a pipe here and a pipe here. Yeah, it would connect both of them to that tank. So that's something. Now that I've established that you can't connect them to each other, which is a plus, I guess I will try to connect... Well, I'm gonna have to make more pipes, obviously. But I will try to connect these together. Okay, so if I place these like this, and I block this off completely at the front and on the sides, I wanted to leave a little area, but I think it's gonna look better if I don't. If I just leave this like that, and then I connect pipes 
like so, right? And then connect another pipe there. Then I would always be able to add the biofuel to it and I would always be able to work on it without it being visible on the outside, which is going to be really ugly. And then I can make two more on this side. So let me pick this up. I will put this in the, in the quarters upstairs and we'll close this off. Eventually, since these tanks are going to have to be kind of attached right here to the other tanks. Can I even make two more tanks and then I can test this out? No, I need planks. I need scrap. I'm completely out of everything. But you can get the idea, right? We have the tanks. We'll have two more tanks there. Uh, they'll be connected right there. And so that means that I could leave it as it is, you know, with this zigzag thing. Or I could completely make it into like a squared version and drag it all the way to the end like that. Either way, I think it's probably fine. I'm going to block this off no matter what, as fast as I can. <laughs> Currently, I can't do it because I have no resources, but eventually I plan to put some doors there, trying to make it look a little bit nicer. And that's that, guys. This is going to be our engine room. It's not super fancy, but it will get the job done. That's for sure. I think at the end of the day, I'm going to have a little bit of a garden in the back, probably where the little goats and sheeps are. It's just, it, it just only makes sense to have it back there. I'm going to be having some things to make some coloring, to paint all of this. So it needs to be closer to the water. So that's probably where it's going to go. And the animals are going to move probably up here or down there somewhere. And, you know, the kitchen will be up there or somewhere here. It's, it's to be determined, to be fair. And over here, not to worry, guys. I'm going to put some doors here so it doesn't look super, super weird. But I think... Overall, it's going to work. It's going to work. We got the engine room going. We got the storage room going somehow. I still have to put up all the lights and everything to make this look much, much nicer. And obviously painted to make it look ideal. And then over here, we're going to have our little cockpit, our little captain's quarters. I already put the bed here and that, but I haven't really decided all I'm going to do with it. We might do a tower or two over here so we can actually use the zip lines. Uh, we'll do a lot of decoration. There's still so much to be done. But we got an insane amount of stuff done. And if you look at it from the ocean, it looks pretty awesome. It looks pretty sick. All right. It's, it's big. It's majestic. It looks a little bit boxy, I think. But that's because a lot of the details are not finished yet. Uh, obviously, the paint is going to make a big, big difference because right now it just looks like a brown blob. But if you notice, there is an indentation at the bottom. This is like sticking out. And there's also going to be another balcony going up at the top right here. Just so you can kind of hang out, you know, and have a sip, have a drink, look at the ocean, whatever you want to do. Then over here, I'm planning to make some towers probably on the edges. And there's going to be a lot of decoration there. A lot of lights. This is going to come alive very, very soon. So this is not the finished product. But at least we got the layout of what it's going to look like. At least on the main house, so to speak. Uh, the outer parts are obviously not done. This looks a little bit bare now. That this huge, massive thing is in the middle. But don't worry. Don't worry. There's plans for that. And there's plans for the other side as well. So everything is going to come together one day but i am pleased that we're at least making strides to get it in working order i am very pleased that the engine room turned out okay it was uh it was a bit of a hassle it doesn't look great all right it doesn't look beautiful but there's nothing you can do to make a bunch of pipes look beautiful so that's why it's completely blocked off so nobody can see my shame but i'm gonna paint it it was it's gonna look all right all right when we're done with it but i just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little buildy adventure we've been on today. We have done so much. We got our engine room moved completely. All our storage moved completely to the second floor. On the third floor, we have the captain's quarters that is now in functioning order with uh, our little detector and all of that. Oh, and speaking of detector, we can make a metal detector for the next time. So maybe that's something we'll be working on next. But I have to float around for a bit. I have no wood. I have no scrap. I have nothing. This ship has taken everything from me, but it was worth it. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye.